It's your girl, Denise Joy. Welcome to another episode of Transformation for Your Home. Whether it's DIY or professional help, you can make your home a destination you'll love. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This video is all about the client process for my hybrid full service package. If you're an aspiring designer or if you want to work with a designer, this video will be very helpful. This client has a gorgeous 1920s colonial on the East Coast and she loves the Hollywood Regency style. Hollywood Regency style is all about glam, mixing time periods, Asian, mid-century modern, Greek. It's a pretty dope style. She hired me to finish off three rooms in her home this video focuses on the dining room. Her goals for me were to finish off each space with a Hollywood Regency flair and to incorporate most of her existing pieces. As a designer, I always have goals for my client. For this client, I wondered if she'd be willing to go bold. And would she be willing to allow me to replace some of her existing pieces? Do we bump heads? What could go wrong? I'm spilling all the tea in this video. Real quick, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I know you don't want to miss a single video. Now, there were a couple of challenges with this project. First off, the room is circular. Most rooms are square. Second, this room opened out into the living room and the adjacent breakfast room. So my design choices needed to complement one another. Luckily, I was also designing the breakfast room and the living room. Here are a couple of shots of her existing pieces that I needed to work with. A gray toned leopard print floor rug and an oval dining table in a gorgeous chocolate wood along with these velvet covered dining chairs in this emerald green. And two of these really fun accent chairs. I practice the Furaha method of joyful design and one of our primary principles is for the client to honor themselves and treat themselves better than company. One of the first things in client process is to pull all of the ideas the client has into one place through a mood board. Here's one that I did for the adjacent breakfast room and this dining room. The designs are meant to complement one another in style. To keep everything on track, a best practice is to have the client sign off on the final design direction. This client also already had this existing wallpaper, but intended to put it in her bathroom. I convinced her it would be better in this dining room. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. The room design really took its nod from the elements and colors in this wallpaper. The vibrant peacock and the lovely hints of pink and coral and gold would make this room have that wow factor the client was after. When the client agreed to move the wallpaper from the bathroom to the dining room, I knew she was willing to go bold and that she was willing to have that flexibility that always helps the client-designer relationship. The upper wall area was painted using Benjamin Moore's Hunter Green and the trim and lower part of the wall, we used Benjamin Moore Ashwood. The windows give off marvelous light during the day, but obviously at night, we needed better lighting. So I selected a new chandelier overhead and two lovely candlestick lamps for the sideboard. The client had already installed some plantation shutters on her windows, but I didn't think they worked very well. Luckily, she was willing to give me full license to make any changes that I thought would bring the room together. So I selected custom cornice treatment over the top, as well as these beautiful sheer blinds. Once they were installed, she loved them. To layer in the wow factor in this dining room, I selected this lovely silk Bellagio fabric to create a custom window seat cushion. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. With my hybrid package, the client does some work and I do some work. Lots of people like that model because it helps keep costs reasonable. With any project, something is bound to go wrong. In this case, I put the wrong width on two of the window blinds and we had to reorder them, but it was an easy fix. 
Most of my client correspondence is done via email, but this client really liked to do some texting for quick questions. You just need to figure out what system is going to work best for you. One of the last things that the client wanted me to address was she wanted a bar station. You know, cocktail parties and soirees and all that good Hollywood Regency stuff. With her existing furniture, she already had this wooden cabinet, but it was really too small and it just didn't really fit the vibe of the room. We wanted something with a little more elegance. So I brought in this beautiful gold tone etage and it made the perfect bar station. Now you can really get funky and unusual with a bar station. There are many different items that one can use and create something very functional. The mid-century modern sideboard the client already had made a great complement to the wood oval table on the other feature wall. She also picked up this fantastic mid-century Hollywood Regency mirror off of Facebook Marketplace. Super heavy, really dope, and it's gonna make a fantastic feature moment on the wall opposite the windows. Lastly, I wrap this up with what I call Pillow Palooza. Had the best time selecting pillows that complemented the colors in that gorgeous wallpaper. The last thing in client process is to celebrate job well done with a toast with your beverage of choice. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment and let me know what room you want me to redesign next. I will see you all in the next video.